Gerald, the tribe has spoken. Time for you to go. Good luck, kids. Good job, Gerald. Got voted off tonight. Look, it was a little bit of a blind side, but it is what it is, and uh, here we are now. <sighs> 18 kilos down in 33 days. Well, travel was, uh, it was quite nice, actually, except for uh, when the boats got read out, and I got, I got blindsided a little bit. Uh, you never really know these things until the boats come out of the urn. Yeah, well, it, it was nice going uh, that long with no boats at all, and I think that was a, a testament to how I play my game and uh, playing with honesty and integrity and uh, trying to be a good bloke. But uh, nice guys always finish last, and here I am leaving the game. At, at the minute, uh, I can probably uh, confidently say I probably wouldn't give my vote to, uh, to Danny. Look, Danny's uh, just been flip-flopping for, for a good while uh, and hasn't been holding her word with anyone, which has uh, left her in a pretty precarious situation like it did tonight. But, uh, yeah, I, I just that doesn't sit very well with me and it hasn't for a long time but since the very start of the game. And uh, it's just kept happening and that's just how I look at this game. George uh, flipping a second time, if, if it was him that voted me out, uh, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to, uh, to see how it actually unfolds and uh, what comes out of future tribal councils. Looking forward to most of our jury villa would have to be the chance to have a shave. This, this thing, this monstrosity on my face has got to go. It's been uh, a lot of years since I was very young when I had a, uh, a beard like this and I can tell you I won't be having one again. Oh, I don't know, I, I hope there is a, a big, juicy hot ribeye fillet sitting there waiting for me to uh, to have tonight would be mint. It'd be nice to have a cold drink of milk and I'd just sit there and drink milk and have a steak would be amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bad luck. Like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, they, they blindsided you, did they? Yeah, apparently. You've got a good feed in front of you. That's a plus. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Welcome to the villa. Oh, that's good. What do you want first, mate? Do you want that a burger? Sure. Uh, Oh. I'm guessing it was George. That's who I'm putting my money on. That it was. Really? Said whether we put the, the idol on Emmett because we thought they were all going to vote for Emmett. And then I said, oh, maybe we should play it for me. And then I'm like, nah, don't be silly. They wouldn't vote for me anyway. They're not very going to vote for me tonight. I'm like, you so were who's out. The, who's the alliance that did that? It was the brains plus one. And I'm guessing the one That's extra right. was George. Where we're supposed to be voting, putting five on Danny. So one person flipped onto me, and I'm guessing it was George. Here's to a new day. Yeah, we'll get I'm cleaned ready. up. Yeah. Give yourself a good scrub, mate. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a bed. Oh. Unbelievable. In my bags. Relaxation. Hashtag relaxation. So nice to be home. I'll miss the campfire. 
got uh, withdrawal symptoms from uh, leaving. I'm missing everyone out there and coming home every night to a group of people that uh, you enjoy being with and spend every day with. It's, um, it was nice. I will be lonely tonight. Um, it's been nice to have um, people around all the time and to have conversations and be able to sit around and, and talk shit every night and get to know people and all that stuff. But at least I won't have to wake up to uh, change the temperature too much. I can just top up and stay under the blankets. I won't have to get up and stoke the fire or move away from when it's too hot. Or worry about embers burning holes in me. Try and find some cows, eh? Yep. Have a look around. Let's go have a look. Bye! I told you they'd come eventually. Alright, well, we go and get that beard off, mate. Oh, you keep telling me I need to get rid of it, so. <laughs> you feel a million bucks once you get it off. Will I look a million bucks though? That's the question. Most probably. If it only us. I reckon it's time to go and show Bane. Oh, have a look at this. A brand, brand new. Look like, like you've a bald you, one? Yeah, you've taken about 20 years off your age, mate. <laughs> Looks like a baby. Well, I'm gonna look 60 now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look good, look at this. How's that? Oh, that is coming along swimmingly. Romantic yeah. candlelit dinner. Yeah. The tackle on the game of Survivor is certainly uh, a bit different to anything else you do in life. It certainly puts you in a different place and uh, takes you right out of your comfort zone. I hope my lasting impression for the tribe is uh, one of calm and, uh, and collectedness, as well as one of having a good time, having a laugh, and uh, not taking anything too seriously. First impressions out there, especially having that wood chopping in the first challenge, were. Uh, that he's a, uh, a big brawny country bloke. Hopefully he's a bit of a larrikin as well. <laughs> Waze really surprised me how much she's adapted and challenged herself and pushed herself and, uh, and tried to improve herself uh, out there. It was really uh, something to, that she should be proud of. Yeah! In the end, I think uh, the biggest threat when I left was obviously George. Uh, he had a way of jumping from uh, from one alliance to another, and uh, that became the biggest threat at that moment. Tonight, my decision is solely based on the people that I'm going to be sticking with. A friend of mine for life uh, for after Survivor will 100% be Flick. She is, she is just an amazing woman, and um, I, I feel so blessed to have, to have even uh, met her and got to know her. We, we got along really well, and we've become really, really close through uh, the situation that we were put in. And, uh, joint experiences uh, through that as well as life and I have no doubt that we're going to be amazing friends uh, for the rest of our lives. The person that I would pick as a winner would be someone that's true to himself and true to their word and uh, sticks true to that for as long as they possibly can. I think that's the, the biggest thing in Survivor is being able to, uh, to stay true to yourself. Loyalty and trust are the two biggest parts of Survivor and will be the biggest weighing factor on, on my vote at Final Tribal Council. Oh, oh, <laughs> boom! Hold on, mate. <laughs> <laughs>